day 212, Isaiah 8 through 12, the reign of Jesse's offspring. Chapter 8 Assyria will invade the land. Fear God, heed his word. 9. The government of the promised son, the punishment of Samaria. 10. Arrogant Assyria also judge it, the returning remnant of Israel. 11. The reign of Jesse's offspring. 12. A hymn of praise. Isaiah's family life becomes an eloquent testimony to the trustworthiness of his prophecies. His firstborn son, Marshalal Hashibad, acts as a constant reminder of the Assyrian threat upon Jerusalem. But in the face of trouble and darkness and anguish, Isaiah proclaims a note of hope. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. There is coming a child whose very names instill hope and confidence. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Though shadows of judgment darken the horizon, the redeemed ones can sing his praises for the ultimate victory is already assured. Eight. The Lord said to me, Take a large tablet and write on it with a man's pen, for my hair shall al hashbaz, and I will take to me faithful witnesses to record. Uriah the priest, and Zechariah the son of Jeberechiah. I went to the prophetess, and she conceived and bore a son. Then the Lord said to me, Call his name Maher Shalal Hashbaz, for before the child shall have knowledge to cry, My father and my mother, the riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria shall be carried away before the king of Assyria. The Lord spoke to me yet again, saying, because this people have refused the waters of Shiloh that go softly, and rejoice in Rezin and Romalia's son, now therefore, behold, the Lord brings up on them the waters of the river, strong and many, even the king of Assyria, and all his glory. And it shall come up over all its channels, and go over all its banks, and it shall sweep onward into Judah. It shall overflow and pass through. It shall reach even to the neck, and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breath of your land, Emmanuel. Make an uproar, O you peoples, and be broken in pieces, and give ear, all of you far countries. Gird yourselves and be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves and be broken. Take counsel together, and it shall be brought to nothing. Speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with us. For the Lord spoke thus to me with a strong hand, and instructed me not to walk in the way of this people, saying, don't you say a conspiracy, concerning all whereof this people say a conspiracy? Neither fear their fear, nor be in dread of it. The Lord of hosts, him shall you sanctify, and let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. He shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of stumbling, and for a rock of offense, to both the houses of Israel, for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Many shall stumble thereon, and fall, and be broken, and be snared, and be taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. I will wait for the Lord, who hides his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel, from the Lord of hosts who dwells in Mount Zion. When they shall tell you, Consult with those who have familiar spirits and with the wizards who chirp and who mutter. Shouldn't a people consult with their God? On behalf of the living should they consult with the dead? To the law and to the testimony. If they don't speak according to this word, surely there is no mourning for them. They shall pass through it, sore distressed and hungry, and it shall happen that when they shall be hungry they shall fret themselves and curse by their king and by their God and turn their faces upward and they shall look to the earth and see, 
distress and darkness, the gloom of anguish, and into thick darkness they shall be driven away. Chapter 9 But there shall be no gloom to her who was in anguish. In the former time he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time has he made it glorious, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of the shadow of death, on them has the light shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased their joy. They joy before you according to the joy in harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as in the day of Midian. For all the armor of the armed man in the tumult, and the garments rolled in blood, shall be for burning, for fuel for fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be on his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there shall be no end, on the throne of David, and on his kingdom to establish it, and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it has lighted on Israel. All the people shall know, even Ephraim and the inhabitant of Samaria, who say in pride and in arrogance of heart, The bricks are fallen, but we will build with hewn stone. The sycamores are cut down, but we will put cedars in their place. Therefore the Lord will set up on high against him the adversaries of Rezin, and will stir up his enemies. The Syrians before, and the Philistines behind, and they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Yet the people have not turned to him who struck them, neither have they sought the Lord of hosts. Therefore the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, palm branch and rush in one day. The elder and the honorable man, he is the head, and the prophet who teaches lies, he is the tail. For those who lead this people cause them to err, and those who are led of them are destroyed. Therefore the Lord will not rejoice over their young men, neither will he have compassion on their fatherless and widows, for every one is profane and an evil doer, and every mouth speaks folly. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. For wickedness burns as the fire, it devours the briars and thorns, yes, it kindles in the thickets of the forest, and they roll upward in a column of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land burnt up, and the people are as the fuel of fire. No man spares his brother. One shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Manasseh, Ephraim, and against Judah. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Chapter 10 Woe to those who decree unrighteous decrees, and to the writers who write perverseness, to turn aside the needy from justice, and to rob the poor of my people of their right, that widows may be their spoil, and that they may make the fatherless their prey. What will you do in the day of visitation, and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will you flee for help, and where will you leave your glory? They shall only bow down under the prisoners, and shall fall under the slain. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Woe, Assyrian, rod of my anger, the staff in whose hand is my indignation. I will send him against a profane nation, and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge, to take the spoil, and to take the prey, and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. However, he doesn't mean so, neither does his heart think so. But it is in his heart to destroy, and to cut off not a few nations. For he says, Aren't my princes all of them kings? Isn't Kalno as Garchemis? Isn't Hamath as Arpad? 
is in Samaria as Damascus, as my hand has found the kingdoms of the idols, whose engraved images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria. Shall I not, as I have done to Samaria and her idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Therefore it shall happen, that when the Lord has performed his whole work on Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria, and the glory of his high looks. For he has said, By the strength of my hand I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I have understanding, and I have removed the bounds of the peoples, and have robbed their treasuries, and like a valiant man I have brought down those who sit on thrones, and my hand has found as a nest the riches of the peoples, and as one gathers eggs that are forsaken, I have gathered all the earth, and there was none that moved the wing, or that opened the mouth, or chirped. Shall the axe boast itself against him who hews with it? Shall the saw magnify itself against him who holds it, as if a rod should wield those who lift it up, or as if a staff should lift up him who is not wood? Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory there shall be kindled a burning like the burning of fire. The light of Israel will be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame, and it will burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. He will consume the glory of his forest and of his fruitful field, both soul and body, and it shall be as when a standard bearer faints. The remnant of the trees of his forest shall be few, so that a child may write them. It shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and those who are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more lean on him who struck them, but shall lean on the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. A remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, to the mighty God. For though your people Israel be as the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them shall return. A destruction is determined, overflowing with righteousness. For a full end in that determined will the Lord, the Lord of hosts, make in the midst of all the earth. Therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, my people who dwell in Zion, don't be afraid of the Assyrian, though he strike you with the rod, and lift up his staff against you after the manner of Egypt. For yet a very little while, and the indignation against you shall be accomplished, and my anger shall be directed to his destruction. The Lord of hosts will stir up against him a scourge, as in the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oreb, and his rod will be over the sea, and he will lift it up after the manner of Egypt. It shall happen in that day that his burden shall depart from off your shoulder and his yoke from off your neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of fatness. He has come to Ayath. He has passed through Migron. At Michmash he lays up his baggage. They are gone over the pass. They have taken up their lodging at Geba. Rama trembles. Gibeah of Saul is fled. Cry aloud with your voice, daughter of Galim. Listen, Laisha, you poor Anathoth. Madmanah is a fugitive. The inhabitants of Gibbam flee for safety. This very day shall he halt at Nob. He shakes his hand at the mountain of the daughter of Zion, the hill of Jerusalem. Behold, the Lord of hosts will lop the bows with terror, and the high of stature shall be hewn down, and the lofty shall be brought low. He will cut down the thickets of the forest with iron, and Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one. Chapter 11 There shall come forth a shoot out of the stock of Jesse, and a branch out of his root shall bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither decide after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and decide with equity for the humble of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion, and the fattened calf together, 
and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt, nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. It shall happen in that day, that the root of Jesse, who stands for an ensign among the people, to him shall the nation seek, and his resting place shall be glorious. It shall happen in that day, that the Lord will set his hand again the second time, to recover the remnant of his people who shall remain, from Assyria and from Egypt, and from Pathros and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. He will set up a sign for the nations, and will assemble the outcast of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and those who vex Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. They shall fly down on the shoulder of the Philistines on the west. Together they shall despoil the children of the east, and they shall put forth their hand on Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. The Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea, and with his scorching wind will he wave his hand over the river, and will strike it into seven streams, and cause men to march over in sandals. There shall be a highway for the remnant of his people who shall remain from Assyria, like as there was for Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. Chapter 12 In that day you will say, I will give thanks to you, Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger has turned away and you comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. Therefore with joy you shall draw water out of the wells of salvation. And that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, declare his doings among the peoples, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done excellent things. Let this be known in all the earth. Cry aloud and shout, you inhabitant of Zion, for great in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel.